Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before starting the video, a small request, please subscribe to the channel. We upload videos on daily basis at 9 a.m. in the morning. Okay, now coming to today's topic. So last night I created a community post where I informed you that I'll be starting a 30 days of DevOps. So basically that that is a like 30 days of course which you need to follow. And if you are following that completely, if you are implementing everything I'm teaching you for 30 days consistently, then trust me like i can literally guarantee you you will be able to qualify like most of the interviews which which you are going to give okay so in that uh, 30 days of uh, devops uh, course what we are going to do we are going to learn every devops tool and technology that is required to work in a corporate as well as to go for an interview okay and most of the things that i'll be doing is hands-on like i will give you an overview what exactly is that tool how it works okay but mostly we will be focusing on hands-on so that if anyone asks us, ask us in interview that what did you do with this tool, then we would be able to give a point-to-point -point answer, hands-on answer that we did this, we implemented this using this tool. Okay, for example, if someone asks you, what did you use Ansible for? We can clearly mention we use Ansible for installing different tools and technology on different servers. Side by side, we also use Ansible for deployment of our uh, applications okay so these things you should be able to answer also like uh, like every single answer that that will be asked to you in interview you will be able to give a technical answer okay no, no like uh, deviation from point or something everything you will be very clearly answering okay so i have created one repository let me show you so 30 days of devops which is public now and you can access so whatever content i teach you every day i'll be posting it here okay for now i just created what exactly we are going to learn in 30 days okay so let me show you that as well where is it let me refresh the page yeah see this is the 30 days of devops so we'll be starting with introduction to devops and first five days basically we'll be first day we'll be learning what exactly devops why it is needed and all then we'll be learning with Maven. See, like when we talk about uh, which build tool we'll be, we should be learning, first build tool that any fresher or experience should focus on is Maven. Because Maven is like used for Java based project. And at this point, most of the project are made uh, using Java only. So if you are learning uh, Maven, that will be much better. Even in my resume, initially the only build tool that I have mentioned is Maven only. Okay. Then we'll be learning Apache Tomcat, how it works and how we can deploy applications, those things, basic things. Then we'll be getting started with Jenkins. Also like remember everything we'll be doing from scratch to it's, it will be like zero to hero. Okay. So uh, like we'll be learning with Jenkins, how we can also like uh, side by side one more thing that is the best thing that we'll be doing is that every tool that we study on the day on that day. We'll be integrating it with the previous tools also. For example, if you are on day four working on Jenkins, we will be integrating Jenkins with Tomcat, Maven, Maven. Okay. Similarly, if you are studying Sonar Cube, then we'll be inst integrating previous tools. Okay. See these things I have prepared like proper with a proper logic so that we can use as as soon as like we are progressing ahead, we should be able to learn previous thing also and also side by side we could be able to integrate the previous uh, things. Uh, on like coming days okay so first five days this much we will cover then from six to ten days OS dependency check artifact repository management which is very uh, important nexus will be learning okay then docker then yaml file how to write yaml file that is very important that will be learning then finally we'll be deploying uh, application to kubernetes okay see and on docker day basically i'll be showing you how we can deploy applications using a docker also side by side we will study also docker how it works okay main examples and main uh, commands of docker okay so within 10 days we should be ready to deploy our applications on kubernetes also kubernetes also i will teach you with proper like architecture so probably kubernetes video might be like uh, a few hours long but uh, since it's like uh, in one day video so i'll try to like cover everything okay since uh, okay so 10 days like normal devops we, we should be able to cover but like i would request you to follow me properly follow the teachings that i give you okay from day 11 to 15 we'll be starting with azure devops the reason that i'm starting with azure devops is that 
it is like one of the most widely used cloud platform in between like aws gcp and this one okay and in azure devops the thing is like most of the things are template based so corporate world like basically prefers it for you like if the if anyone wants to use cloud devops pipeline they usually go with azure devops okay so we are going to start with azure devops azure pipelines azure artifact then acr then aks okay so within 5 days this much basic things we should be able to do also side by side i'll be giving you some small small task daily basis so that you can practice those things also then coming to 16 to 20 days of code uh, in so here basically we what we'll be doing uh, working with as well as implementing infrastructure as code so two of the main tools that we are going to use is ansible and terraform ansible will be using for updating or like creating modifications on any server like uh, like installing tools and deploying applications and then you will be using terraform to provision different resources so some of the basic resources we will provision so that if some interviewer ask us what exactly what did you do with terraform we should be able to explain properly what exactly did we do okay then uh, 20 uh, last 10 days basically i have not finalized if i am going to keep these things only or if i am going to change but yeah for sure like last 5 days we will be doing like real world scenarios or case studies how we could how we could use devops there okay so last 5 days that we will be doing but last 21 to 25 days basically and i want to do see this this thing i will be doing continuous monitoring but other than that rest i need to still figure out like what what things i could like include okay so this will be the repository and it is public so make sure to check out check it out every day so that you can stay updated like what exactly is going on also i would literally request you make sure to watch the video every day for 30 days consistently consistently and without skipping anything okay okay so i hope like this video is going to be useful for you for 30 days and we should be able to learn devops on a in a much better way than we are we are learning now okay okay also like whatever projects i am using whatever resources i am using everything will be available to you you don't need to worry about like uh, when we are studying this 30 days of devops like uh, uh, whatever project for example like if i am deploying using some project everything will be available to you as well so that you can do a proper poc okay also i would request you if this repository is going to be beneficial for you not now but in future you should give it stars so that it can be like uh, uh, it can be like stay up in the field okay so other people also can be uh, can be able to use this repository okay okay so that's it for today this was day 0 okay and let's see what happens okay so that's all for today's video and i hope you will support me so thanks for watching